so hi guys welcome back to the channel and today we'll dive into using aws Textract to extract text and structured data from documents with python so let's begin so aws Textract is a machine learning based service that extracts text forms and tables from documents like pdfs or scanned images or even the handwritten text so in this tutorial we'll uh, learn how to use Textract api to process documents with python step by step so let's begin so first of all, you need to set up your AWS account with credentials. Uh, you need to have some keys and also configure your AWS in your terminal. All right, guys. So now I'll show you how you can create access keys for your AWS account. So head up to your AWS console and then head up to the, your profile section, uh, your profile down bar, and you can see the security credentials tab here. Now click on that. And now scroll down to the manage keys sec section and you can click on create access key here. And now it will ask you to create the keys for a particular user. Uh, you can select the user for which you want to create some keys, but I'll just select the root user, which has all the permissions. Uh, but you can select any particular user which has limited access to the AWS uh, services. So I'll just create a access key for my root user here, and I click on create access key. So here's the access key, uh, access key ID, and secret access key as well. You can copy these and set up in your AWS configured uh, in your terminal. All right. So the second thing includes is downloading the AWS CLI. Uh, package you can install it for windows through the msi installer you can search for aws cli install and you can head up to the first link here and now go down in the windows section and you can head up to the aws cli uh, official link which is present right here and now you can uh, install it uh, any way you want and you can run this package like this and just follow through all the setup process and install the AWS CLI. All right, it is already installed for me, so uh, it will not walk me through all the steps, but uh, those are just simple steps, which requires access to directories or permissions, something like that. For installing uh, AWS CLI in a Linux system, the commands are re relatively simpler. So you just have to hit a call request to AWS CLI server, and then you'll have to unzip the file you've installed here, and then just uh, run this command, sudo AWS install, that will install AWS CLI in a Linux system. All right, so after you install AWS CLI, you can head up to your terminal. Uh, you can first restart your device and then head up to the terminal and look for AWS hyphen hyphen version to verify if AWS CLI has been installed or not. And if you get a version number just like this, that represents that your CLI has been installed. Now for configuring the uh, AWS CLI uh, for multiple services, basically to configure your AWS account inside terminal, you can run the command AWS configure. And now you can enter all the access keys and all the uh, secret access and also the region name which are present right here uh, as you can see i've already entered it so it shows me a value right here but it will sh uh, show none if you have entered nothing as of now all right so i'll just click on enter because i don't want to change it right now and it will be a secret access key you'll put, put the secret access right here for the region name just put the region name in which you're working and for the default output format you can keep it none as of now all right i know aws has been configured now so now you can start working with aws all right so now let's begin the coding part so first of all we need to install some requirements uh AWS requires just one requirement, which is Boto3. So we have to install it using pip install Boto3. And now we can start working with AWS. All right, so first of all, I'm going to set up a Boto3 client. Uh, I'm going to start, set up a Textract client using Boto3. I, I'll import Boto3 first, and then set up a Textract client using Textract equals to Boto3. The client, and then I'm going to enter Textract to set up a client for Textract API. All right. So now uh, we can begin using Textract for various use cases. So first of all, we can use Textract for uh, extracting text. So how do we extract text using Textract APIs by using the uh, Textract dot detect document text function? So uh, let's begin. So first of all, I'm going to read the image I'm going to use here. Uh, I'm going to use this image. This image has some uh, a table on the left and then some text on the right. So it is going to detect both of them. So let's begin by uh, first of all, writing with open, then I can write my image name, which is img.png here. And we have to read this image in binary format. So I'll just add rb here, and I can now store this image in bytes format. So how do I store is is I will write document bytes equal to ing.read. So this will store my image in bytes in the document bytes variable. All right, so now I'm going to get a response from the extract API by using response equals to textract, and then I'm going to use the dot detect document text function. And for the parameters, I'm going to pass the document, which can be passed as a dictionary 
of bytes and I can pass a value as document bytes. All right, so now I should have all the details in my response and I can print them one by one. So first of all, how to print uh, my extracted text is I'm gonna use uh, an if statement here. So I'm gonna first iterate through all the items in my response blocks, uh, in my response blocks. And now I'm gonna check if the items block type is line, which means that, uh, which means that the item is basically a sentence of words so then I'm going to print that item. So I'll put this if statement and print the item text. So this will print all the text in the image that's available. All right. So if I now run this script, this should give me a text that is present in the image. All right. So it gave me all the text that is within the image. That's great. Now we can move to the next use case for uh, text track, which is detecting key value pairs. Key value pairs uh, basically means it will detect the key value for some uh, details like name, email address, phone number, something like that. Basically, uh, the extract is trained on multiple document types like contracts, uh, letters, and all of the documents which are in present in the office world. So basically, the extract provides output basis on the basis of the trained data. So for the key value pair, we can actually use uh, the similar iteration. We can iterate through all the blocks and if the block type equals to key value pair key value pair, key value set actually. And if we detect that, we can print uh, the blocks text. Uh, and now for the other utility, we can actually detect the tables present in the uh, document. So how do we detect the tables? Is we can again iterate to uh, our document blocks. Now if we encounter the block type as table, we can print the table block. All right, we can print actually the item here, which will give all the details about the table all right so now if i run the script i should get the information about key value pairs and tables as well all right so for the table part uh, as you can see i printed the block right here and it has detected some tables here so i get all the information about the table like the bounding box and all the coordinates about the, all the edges of the table and as well as the children table i can see here like it's a child table so it detects all the, all the tables in the image, all the text in the image, and even the key value pairs in the image. All right, so one more thing about extract is it can detect uh, handwritten images. So if I have something written, written, written like this, so I can again run this script for this image, which is which can be done by OCR.jpg. Now, uh, if I run the script, you can see, I can see the text which is detected, which is because we're doing, which is the exact text present there present in the image. All right, so that's how we actually work with Textract API for detecting tables, key value pairs, and text in, in an image. So that's it for the video, and thanks for watching.